Yo, Gamma fam! Welcome again. It's a special video with me, David Vujanic. Got Timsy here in the building. Hello. And we also have Man Like Power talking about our team of the season. This should be a good one. And we're going to be comparing it to your team of the season at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And we're starting with goalkeepers. Uh, let's take a look at, at some of the goalkeepers we've got to choose from. We've gone with a 4 3 3 formation, obviously mm. made quite popular by Mourinho in 05 and adopted throughout until this season where Conte tried to mix it up. But we're going to stick with 4-3-3. How about this as goalkeeper options? You have Hugo Lloris, mm -hmm. uh, very, very good season at Spurs, conceded the least goals in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Next to Courtois, who picked up a Premier League medal. Mm -hmm. um, and Pickford from Sunderland, who's had a decent season for a team that is Kieran Dyer, mate. He's been relegated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in it, like, I mean, a great right yeah, now. That's true, that's Confidently, true. you just can't have... Is yeah. that picking the Lib Dems? I'd probably go with Courtois, I think. The whole of Chelsea's been really solid, but I think Courtois's been really just safe. Uh, should we do a democratic vote? Yeah, I wouldn't go with Pickford, like Vuj said. I mean, Sunderland have been relegated. He's conceded quite a few goals. And Lloris has been prone to a mistake this season, despite the fact he's had a good season. Yeah, that's whereas true. Courtois is just a solid goalkeeper. Yeah. Maxi Priest behind the camera said De Gea, I wouldn't really say again De Gea this season. He's a, I just a think great he's goalkeeper. Good, he's a great goalkeeper. Like, look, none, none of the goalkeepers were suggesting, we're not saying that they're terrible goalkeepers, but we've just got to look at it as a season yeah. and how you've managed to perform. And, I just think Courtois, over the course of this season, especially back in Timsey's point, off the back of a really poor season, not only has he bounced back and showed a lot of mental strength, but at the end of the season, he's walked away with a Premier League medal and he's yeah. been a huge contributing factor within that. So I just think Courtois, for me, I mean, Czech's been good as well, but again, Czech's made a couple of mistakes um, yeah, this true. season. It's like yeah, Courtois out a lot, exactly. Courtois out a lot has been the most stable, do you know what I mean? I mean, that's it. I think of a fam. That is our goalkeeper yeah. of the season. Thibaut. Thibaut Courtois from Chelsea as we move on to the right back. I mean, I'm going to just throw someone in straight away. Go on. James Milner. He's left back though, He's left it? back. He's definitely left back. Has he been playing and left Nathaniel back, Klein was playing right back. I begin to wonder if you're watching Liverpool or another side. Um, Some suggestions we got here, Kyle Walker, Aspen Aqueta, Victor Moses, Antonio Valencia. I, I, I'm going to go straight away. I'm going to go with um, Kyle Walker. It, it hurts wow. me as an Arsenal fan. Mm. And I don't, I still don't rate him. I, he's played really well, but I still never, as in like, he's never going to be unbelievable, but he's been very good this mm -hmm. season, especially compared to how bad he has been throughout his whole career. Yeah. He's actually performed so, so well. My right back of the year is Valencia, signed him from Wigan, um, and I think he's just made that position his own. Mm. It's become a situation where in which it's like, Man United need a right back, you need a good pair. Um, so all of a sudden, just like, no, I'm right back and I'm claiming this and I'm getting it on merit. Yeah. And when Darmian plays there, they just don't look as stable on the right-hand side. I think Valencia has been fantastic this season, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. All right, so you're going Valencia? I'm going Valencia. Go I'm, I'm going Kyle Walker. So we've got it to two. Here you go. My democratic vote, right? Mm. Milner. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get onto that. We're going to get onto that. Valencia, put your hand up. Yeah. Democratic vote. Kyle Walker, put your hand up. Oh! Kyle Walker. I like oh, what he did cool. there. Oh, yeah. sick. Democratic vote. We've shot it into two. Kyle yeah. Walker, you are the copper, 19 boys. Yeah. Right back. To be fair, I think they've both been so good, though. Yeah, they're like it's, really it's, mm. if it's thin margins between them. Let's go to the other side where the, we boost can back. now. You can now say. Can I, can I, eh, you eh, didn't eh, hear this before. Eh. Let me chuck something in straight away. Go on. <laughs> James Milner. Oh. Have a nice. Are you going straight away with Milner? No I'm going else. with Milner. A man was a fucking midfielder. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, true. played he's right foot. Top, top four, scored like seven penalties. See, obviously, I, he's not meant to play there, so that's obviously why it impresses me even more. Yeah, I hear you. But defensively, he's been solid. When you're playing next to the other three that, that are a shambles in that defence, I think he's done a really stellar job. I don't it's think difficult it's, to beat. I don't think it's as good as Marcus Alonso, though. He just pop up, he just plays. However he wants. He'll pop up randomly with a goal. Good. I see where you're coming from. And you never like, it's never like, oh, another really solid display from Marcus. I bet people just forget he's even playing. And then randomly he'll just pop up with a goal. Alonso, what I like about Alonso and what Vuj doesn't like about that pair is it tastes bad. That was a grape. Why did it taste like cheese? Maybe that's the reason why we don't <laughs> eat the fruit, lads. Um, I just think Alonso never has a, a performance below 7 out of 10. You know what you're going to get out of Alonso. He's mm. going to work the full backs and work the wingers extremely hard. He's definitely going to create an ample amount of opportunities and be a reliable outlet for Chelsea as a wing back. For that position of wing back where you've got to play left back and <clears> left winger to a certain extent, he has been consistent. So Alonso is, is, is in a shortcut here with, with so Milner. Alonso, 
Milner. Okay, let's do Demo- the Democratic vote. Democratic again. vote. Who so who thinks, am I, who am I gonna, who who gonna... thinks James Milner? Okay, who thinks Marcus Alonso? Yeah, I know Marcus Alonso. Um, I tried, Liverpool fans, I tried, I, 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 I tried to fight the case, but Marcus Alonso, I think, is fair enough that, that you end up as the uh, right back. Yeah. This is difficult. We've got to pick two centre backs, and the suggestions we've got mm-hmm. here is Alderweire, Dyer, Louise, Cahill, Koscielny, Matip, Van Dyke. Eric Bailey, you can say Vertonghen. You, you yeah, know, exactly. you could even say Aspilicueta to a certain extent. I would put Aspilicueta and Alderweire. Alderweire, Alderweire, sure. Alderweire, hundred percent, he's in. One Alderweire for sure. I don't, I don't even think that's an, like a debate. Like that's just yeah. that's a given, isn't it? For me, I'd put Van Dyke. I, I, when I went to watch Liverpool against Southampton, mm. man of the match by far. Yeah. I say Aspilicueta purely because he's a fullback. He's gone into that position. <clears throat> okay, it's one of the three, but again. You just know what you're getting out of this boy. He's not going to give you a bad performance. He's got, he's got a lot of heart for a Spanish player, like very passionate about yeah. Chelsea. Was a fringe player for a little while. Came in at left back, started doing well. Conte put him in the free, and I've just think I watched him against um, against Arsenal, um, and Arsenal Chelsea. He was just incredible. Yeah, hmm. I'd go with David Luiz personally. This season, he's maintained a really high level. Yes, especially coming off a joke season. <coughs> He's been a bit of a joke for the last like two years. Mm. I think that the Democratic vote uh, does determine Alderweireld as one of them, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. oh yeah, Alderweireld is, is one. We got one in. Hundred percent. All right, the second one. Who do you suggest? You, the second do you know what? Back. I'm actually comfortable with Luis or Aspilicueta. I think they've both been incredible. I, I, but name one. You have to name one. It's your vote that counts. Aspilicueta, you said Aspilicueta. I'm going to say Aspilicueta then. Aspilicueta, David Luiz, Van Dijk. So let's settle this in a democratic way of. Rock, paper, scissors. We have got a stat. Now, it might be wrong. We might have just picked it from... Is it a Daily Mail stat or is it a legitimate stat? It says a that stat. David Luiz made zero mistakes that led to a goal. Yeah. I, think I mean, how important good. is that stat? Who really just like passes it to a player to then score Oh, who goal? makes mistakes? Oh, oh, Gerard makes a couple of mistakes. Lovren. You should know about that. Lovren makes tons of mistakes. You should know about that. I will <coughs> pull away from my rock, paper, scissors, even though I think it would have been fun. It would have been fine. fun. It would have been fun. Spoil sports. I will also go David Luiz, Democratic vote. David Woo! Luiz. David I Luiz and Alderweireld. He's so a that, great guy. Our back four is David Luiz and Alderweireld in the middle. Left back was Marcus Alonso and right back is Carl Walker, is it? Yeah, with Courtois and Cole, which looks like a very strong yes. side so far. Very strong side. Right, let's move to the middle where it needs to be strong and stable. Uh, let's not even speak too much. Let's yeah. Kante is in the squad. Kante, 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 Kante in the squad. You can't even... Who is in. next to Kante is the question. Another person I don't think is really up for debate is Deli Ali. I was literally going to say that. Yeah, I, don't I feel like you debate. cannot debate what Deli Ali has been doing as a young player. Yeah. So wait, Deli Ali is in, yeah? I think he has to. Can we? Uh, do you agree, Tim? Yeah, 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 100%. Percent. Let's put our hand. Deli Ali and Deli Kante Ali. are in. Now, this is this where is it's tricky. Because okay. yeah. also, is it like one defensive, two... It? Exactly. So, two advanced and one defensive. Like, Kante can just do <coughs> everything. Yeah. And like me, I'd put in Coutinho. Now, I have to say I agree. Because, yeah, he, he, he comes in flashes, but when he's on that ball, <laughs> he glides. Like he's so imagine you've got Kante, De- Kante at the back, like just sitting in front of the defence a little bit, mm. scurrying. Deli Ali also a big worker, box to box, and they give it to Coutinho. I just think Coutinho to me has just had more moments than these other midfielders that were naming. Exactly. I, 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 I wouldn't go for, I would, Who would you go for? disagree. I would go for Dembele. I would. Uh, Dembele's been on the bench a lot of the times. They've been Ooh. playing Wanyama yeah. and what? Dyer sometimes. And like, like Dembele's not, unfortunately for me, his quality shines through. I think he is an f- incredible player. But if I'm saying this season, yeah, I don't yeah, think he's been yeah. an integral Spurs player. Yeah, yeah. I just That's think he's a great player. I mean, like mm. Fabregas as well hasn't really played that much, but he's obviously quality. David Silva, quality, but not an integral. Like he's not like uh, yeah, Man City really done true. much. Whereas. I take a look at, I mean, Ander Herrera's got more of an argument for being in Yeah, true. He's, yeah, he's been a solid, especially because <coughs> Pogba's been up. I think for the, 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 the dynamic we're going for, which is exciting football, oh, we're trying man. to go for attacking yeah. football here at the Cox okay. Fam. We're trying to attack front foot forward, yeah. Derby days, stony on, stony off. Do you know what I mean? So for me, democratic vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would I, you suggest if you're not Coutinho? Uh, no, no, I, I, you've, you've convinced me. I was just Coutinho. No, Coutinho, oh, oh, Coutinho. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That's the first player who's not, in the, uh, Chelsea or Spurs, that's in the team. So that's um, our free mid. So free midfielders of Kante, mm, Deli Ali, and Coutinho. That's, that's nice. For me, that's that strong. is. <laughs> that's strong. <laughs> All right, lads, take it easy. Chill out. All right, left forward. 
apparently we've got. I mean, left, like, left forward, right forward, you can just swap them anyway, yeah, exactly. really. Yeah, yeah. Um, you are two wingers. Two wingers. Two wingers. Two wingers. Two wingers. I could just throw two names out there and I would leave it at that. And I would just say Same. Sanchez, Hazard, and I wouldn't say anything else. Yeah. Just I, like, I, when I say SNM vibe, say no more. Yeah, like, that would just be me. So we've got Some other performers, you know, Leroy Sané. Sané. But he's grown this he's season. Growing. Yeah, he's, he's growing. grown yeah. this season. Um, Saha, grown. Lanzini, Spell, Mane. Mm. Mane. Sterling, Antonio. Mane. Mane. Mane's been really good. Mane's an elect. But again, Firmino's been good. But, but the injury. injury. De Bruyne? <gasps> Ooh. De Bruyne's been good. Whoa, whoa, Tim's been coming with I'm not really rocking. I'm not really rocking. Um, yeah, Coast. I, I, would, I would go with Sanchez and Hazard though. Because ha- I mean, you Hazard can't, bang, like, look, Hazard two, two names, goals, fam. So. Look at the script, fam. Yeah. Man zoomed it. And when I zoomed it, look, that's what it says. Yeah. Sanchez, Sanchez and Hazard. Hazard. Maybe because okay. I zoomed it, but still. Hazard last season yeah. was abysmal. His first Premier League goal came in like April, late April, May to stop Spurs from winning the league. Yeah. Whereas this season, he just said, you know what? Trust. I think I'll just start participating from August. Yeah. So, Trust. shout out Hazard. Okay. And shout out Sanchez. Arsenal are fifth, but he still managed to score 25, just, 26 yeah. more seasons. He's still, yeah. This will be tough, though. Striker. It's tough, but it's not. I, I feel you. Because there's only one man that just scored two hat-tricks in a row and said, you know what, Rads, I'm just going to play for both. <laughs> You're going Harry Kane straight away. I mean, look, let's let's debate. Because once... But the thing is, you know, this is one of those seasons, right, where I just feel there isn't that much debate. It's like if you're, if you're going for, like, quality, there's, there's so many arguments for these players that we've mentioned. Yeah. Like in my head, I'm like, who would I put in front of them? Like maybe if you're looking at Coutinho, you'd go Ertzel, but I think Coutinho's had a better season. 100%. So it's like, you know, it's like every player we've mentioned, it's, yeah. it's pretty much, maybe centre back was, you could go someone else, but yeah. the keepers, but even a striker, it's like Diego Costa, brilliant. Yeah, I'd amazing. Say he's See, that's rolling. the thing, I, I, I think he's <laughs> close. I still do think Kane, but Costa, you could, it, it wouldn't be, Bad if if Costa was in there. I think it would because though, he, because he's imagine how many times he, this season, yeah. Chelsea he has saved them. Chelsea though. has have they've won Needed the league there yeah, because they've all the one alls that should have just been draws. They just win two one. And, Costa yeah. and, and it's just table. Costa just comes I still up. Still remember but what Harry from. Kane's achieving as a twenty three year old boy under the circumstances yeah, no, agree, he's playing for Spurs. As an not fan. A, I'll be honest with you, like with Costa scoring goals with Cesc Fabregas, Azard, Pedro, Kante, like man, can't man. like. I expect that. Harry Kane scoring goals with an inconsistent to, um, Christian Eriksen. Young okay, Deli Ali's uh, not going to get the sun. He's just, and the reason inconsistent is what, like, there are players that in the side where I was just like, well, Kane, you're the only consistent performer from the past two years. Mm. And he's just maintained that level of consistency. Yeah. Let's it's mention just, some names because I know you guys are going to had a good season. Lukaku, yeah, Chris, Lukaku Ibrahimovic, good. people were doubting him at the start. Yeah. I did. Mate, if he, if he, class. Three months ago, he was on set to just, everyone was just like, oh yeah. I was like 40 something goals. goals. Yeah. yeah, but look, you, got, you had the, obviously man like Defoe who just went to America, came oh. back and said, you know what, let me do my thing. I can't, should I say. How many goals decent. did Aguero get this season? 20 plus. 20 plus. Again. Man's injured, played like six games, got 20 plus goals. <laughs> <laughs> I think democratic vote again. We'll go, maybe, you know, the Costa Kane debate, but who thinks Harry Kane? Oh yeah, Harry Kane, has to be. The, the man, we've done it. Harry Kane is our centre forward for this season, team of the season. I think for me, we've done these videos a bit before, this is the easiest team of the season yeah. I have yeah. done in the past four years. Let's, recap. Let's recap the team. So, at, in goal, we have Courtois. Solid, 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 solid goalkeeper there. Right back, we've gone Jim. Carl Walker. Not James Wilder. <laughs> <Miller. laughs> James Wilder. <Miller. laughs> left back. James Wilder. We've got James Wilder. Yeah. We've got James Wilder left back. No, no we don't. don't. No, no, we don't, we oh. don't. We went Marcus Alonso. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, centre backs went, Alderweireld and David Luiz, yeah. who are very, 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 very solid, very solid, very solid. Centre mids, pretty easy. Kante had to be Deli Ali and Coutinho. That is, that's, 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 that's a spicy this centre mid. That's a spicy centre mid. Yeah, left wing, right wing. We went Sanchez, Hazard, both wings, whatever one they that want to play. Mad. And then up front, it had to be the one and only Harry Kane. He's one of our own. Hey, no, one that's of a, our he's not our one of your own. Team. He supported Arsenal. He genuinely supported Arsenal. Well, that was our team of the season. Let's see how it compares to your team of the season, <laughs> Cup of Fam. A little graphic will pop up, and I believe Timsey's heavenly voice will be speaking over it. So overall, the Cup of Fam's Premier League team of the season for 2016-17 is pretty much the same, apart from the right-back position, where it's Aspilicueta instead of Carl Walker, one of the midfield positions, where it's De Bruyne instead of Coutinho, 
and one of the upfront positions where it's Lukaku instead of Sanchez. Keep watching, like, comment, subscribe. That was me, that was Timzy, that was Poet. See you soon and make sure you're having a nice.